friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 26th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. And here we are looking at the last 48 hours of our sun, as we've seen quite a few C-class flares, as our X-ray flux remains in a C-class right now. But we're going to be watching this spastic sunspot that is cresting. Watch this on the right-hand side. After that plasma filament took off, which I posted in earlier today in a video, left-hand side, you're going to see that whip away. And then watch the activity here with this sunspot cresting in. Looking at the last 48 hours, quite a bit of activity being thrown around the heliosphere of our sun. But all of this now in an outgoing position. That was the most latest plasma filament. That took off in an outgoing fashion. Another closer look here at this spastic sunspot that I was talking about. Just a whipping and a throwing things around multi-spectrum showing all the last 48 hours of events all of these images brought to you by solar dynamics observatory observing our star for the last 48 hours 193 angstroms here you can see the coronal hole blackened region in the northern hemisphere and as well developing in the last few images southern hemisphere But nothing has been thwarted our way. And ISWA still has not updated from the last plasma filament eruption taking off from the bottom left of our sun. Quick look at our sunspots right now. Those are the blue regions. Lasco 2 showing the last two days of imagery, including today's eruption. As early morning of the 26th today we saw that large plasma filament eruption still an amazing thing to see and there's definitely a lot of metal and material with that eruption look at that amazing stuff solar x-ray flux as i said is in c range and spiking right now Solar proton flux is picking up a bit as well. And geomagnetic activity remains KP2 right now after being up to KP5. Showing the ISWA space prediction spiral. The only thing they're showing is the outgoing blast from the most recent one that I showed you. But we're expecting some space weather here right at the end of the month, 28th, 29th. Having a look at our magnetosphere, this is our pressure. Showing the immense pressure all around our planet right now. Being squeezed. And then our solar winds breaking it down here, the cut planes. Solar winds are constantly hitting us at, on an average of 250 to 300 kilometers per second. And we've been up over 500 for the past little bit. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 10. Pretty low power. Quick look at the telemetry here. Quality of 8.2, amplitude of 10, and power of 6. Now let's get to earthquakes for the past 24 hours. As we haven't seen much of an increase just yet, looking at about 220 earthquakes across the USGS map. We're going to start out here with a 5.4 Nazca plate Pacific rise, followed by a 5.1 South America, seeing some pretty deep activity today. Peru-Bolivia border and further south into Chile. 
at the 4.2 here, Kalama. Scotia Plate, South Sandwich Islands, seeing a 5.1 and as well a 4.8. And that is right in front of the Michael Volcano. Caribbean Plate. Quiet today considerably. Across the North American Plate, minor activity continues through Ferndale, California, 3.3, the largest through the region today. Hawaii, some activity coming back as well, especially around the Kilauea caldera. 4.4 here just recently. Atlasova, Russia, Kamchatka Island, right in between Bezimieni and Shevelich. Izu Islands seeing a 5.1, 4.3. Bonin Islands region, some deep earthquakes all around the submarine volcanic chain into the Mar Marianas Trench. Indian Plate seeing some activity today, 4.1 China, 4.4 there looks to be Tajikistan, as well as 4.1 Iran. Ethiopia, pretty rare earthquake here today, 5.5 and a 4.6. And that's really close north to the Urta Ale volcano. So heads up as that is an erupting and active volcano. 4.2 there, Aegean Sea as well. Quick browse at the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. As the largest that we've seen is in California. Was in California. And we've seen some deep movement this week. And the pressure is on right now with the space weather effects. Expecting something big to come here, especially with the couple rare earthquakes, the African plate, and even further south towards the Antarctic plate, as we've seen that increase in activity. That's the last seven days around the world. Stay aware and prepared and just have a plan if you are in an earthquake zone or prone for a large earthquake. I wanted to show you here a Google imagery, satellite, satellite imagery from Google Earth. And look at the size of this low-pressure system now that is over Quebec and moving northward. Literally, it's boxed out there, and this thing is 4,000 kilometers across. Low-pressure center here over the Pacific as well, 4,300 kilometers across. Got twin cyclones spinning south of India, and we've got this interesting low pressure system over Australia. Lots of things to talk about. We've seen some big changes, folks. Having a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center, most recent satellite imagery. Look how far south that moisture is rising all the way up into the North Atlantic. Most recent volcanoes being updated today Shevelich, and as well as Sangay in Ecuador, Manam, Papua New Guinea. Nevadas de Ruz in Colombia. And then many, many flood alerts today. 178 active hazards. Popopacarito in Mexico. It's about six volcanoes getting updated today. And we're going to have to get a count here for a volcanic activity report. Stay tuned for that as that will be coming up in the next couple days. Very interesting low pressure system that just scooted across the United States and up into upper eastern Canada. State of emergency has been declared through Niagara region and Buffalo, Fort, e Fair, Fort Erie, as they've been buried in snow squalls and high drifts. Looking here over the Pacific Ocean, as there's a huge atmospheric river of moisture stretching from the Philippines. British Columbia. Overlooking the rest of the world, a lot of the systems hitting a large blockade over Europe. High pressure ridge over Africa, thwarting everything northward. We've also got Tropical Storm Darien, who is still alive. Was a Category 4 at one point and regained its strength again just a day ago. So that thing's been spinning for about nine days. Having a look at the weather forecast brought to you by Windy.com and as well put together here with daily events worldwide. Large low pressure system invading west coast right now. Atmospheric river of moisture. Watch for heavy rains and snowfall. 
Alberta Clippers going to be moving northward into Manitoba and Ontario this week. And then we've got a couple pretty warm systems heading up into Ontario. We're going to see above seasonal temperatures for the new year, especially with this large system. Watch for extreme weather right across southeastern United States and all Gulf states with that storm. These storms are getting bigger. They're getting stronger. And with our collapsed magnetosphere, they're winding up ahead of the coastlines and then finally making it over. Some very strange times we're living in, folks, and I'm grateful to have all of you along for this epic journey through the changes that we're going to go through together. Overlooking the rest of the world, no major systems affecting Africa except for daily evaporation rains, Zambia, Zimbabwe. Same with South America. Some stronger systems moving in for later in the week, but we will show you a detailed forecast when we get to that. And then we get to Southeast Asia. Looking at the track of Cyclone Darien as it tries to head southward. We've also got this tropical system still winding its way over Australia. And look at the forecast of this as it is just going to com completely rake the northwest shores of Australia and then head back inland. I don't think I've seen a low-pressure system do that, but they've got another one moving into Queensland in the Northern Territory of Australia. So stay tuned. Long-range forecast does not look good for Australia. Much love, everybody, and I appreciate you tuning in every day, keeping you aware and prepared to daily events with weather and earthquakes and volcanoes. And here, looking at world weather, looking at the temperature forecast over North America, as you can see, lots of warm temps being pumped into Ontario this week. So we're going to see a big melt-off from a butt ton of snow off of all of the Great Lakes. We've seen some heavy, heavy snow squall accumulations. Overlooking Russia and Europe, showing the invading polar vortex as it is whipping around our northern hemisphere right now. Those cold temperatures are just not penetrating Europe right now. Big high pressure blockade over northern Africa. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.